be writing me. So I just deleted it. But um, I have no idea whether it was legitimate or not. I thought, well, if they want me, they'll get come back to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, typically, if it's somebody reaching out to you, it's not, yeah. Well, that's what I told Bill, because he said, you know, he said 10 years ago, we would, he would have been perfect, whatever, he's getting better about it. But we, he got an email about renewing our New Yorker magazine, and he went ahead and did it online. But he said, you know, and I said, well, it probably was legitimate. I said, but in the future, don't go on to that website. Go to the newyorker.com and sign in yourself. Because if you initiate the thing, it's okay. But not when somebody else initiates it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very, very hard. It's not easy to. It's crazy. Manipulate. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are a lot of nasty people in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm just grateful that it got resolved for Elsa, you know. Oh yeah. Sometimes you don't I got it. a phone call yesterday, or a, well, I guess it was they did leave a message. That's right. This long thing, and of course it was the thing you've won such and such a thing, but they, you know, and, and it was with publishers clearinghouse and readers digest. I don't know that those two are together, but whatever. But I went on through the whole thing and they they had this, you know, I could win 18 million dollars. And, and I think are you crazy? You know, you think I'd fall for that. And they kept going, and I so I just listened to the whole thing to see what else were they going to say, and I and I really needed to call and call this number and leave this and blah blah blah, and then the end says we are looking forward for your call, <laughs> and it's like <laughs> okay, that's a clue, <laughs> that's a good clue right there, yeah. <laughs> oh. mm. Well, for those of you who have to sneak off, anything you'd like to discuss today? Or anyone. <laughs> I just kind of um, did something I thought, maybe I shouldn't do this. There's no harm, I know. But <laughs> I was going through it's Facebook. Jeff, Betty. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, if you have a feeling, you should probably go with it. Um, I was looking at friends' posts on Facebook. And one of them was a warning that since Facebook is becoming meta, that you have to make a statement and post it on your, you have to post it on your feed, that you do not want them to use your photograph or your information for anything right. that's really private to you. And she said, you must copy and paste this. That's the way you have to do it. And you're running out of time. And this was a woman... She used to be my boss. I mean, I, I really respect her. She's very smart. And I thought I could wait till tomorrow, but she said, you know, it has to be done today. Right there, I should have said, eh. I mean, I kind of heard things about this before, but I went, ahead, I didn't know how to post anything because I told you I look at Facebook. My sister, my daughter set me up, but I just look at because I've had too many things happen to my computer. Mm -hmm. And, um, then I told my husband about it and I thought, well, he better do it too. And then he comes back to me and he had looked online just using that phrase. And it's just one of those things that Snopes would have picked up just saying, no, you don't have to do that. <laughs> I said, oh, I feel so stupid. So then I had to post again, telling everybody, sorry, if you felt you had to do this too, you don't have to. And my face is red, but I don't think it did any damage, right? You just posted a comment, like an update. It did absolutely nothing other than share your thoughts to the world. So um, it there's no harm other than it might have scared a couple people. Um, <laughs> but any of those, uh, you must send this to five people or you must uh, copy and paste this immediately or all. I really thought I was becoming immune to any of these pitches because I've listened to everything you said. I've followed all the steps mm -hmm. and I said, they're not going to get me. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I thought of emailing you and I thought, oh, there's probably not time. You're busy. I'm sure it's fine. You did no harm. I mean, yeah. Fine, that, thank but you. it's happened to everyone. You know, we've all right. gone like Elsa. She, you know, reads all the emails. She watches the recordings. I was, yeah, I was very happy to hear your update that she finally did what you said and went to a regular, uh, their branch and got it resolved. A human being. <laughs> yeah, you're human. And yeah. 
the gut they they pry on the gut quick response you know so right. um whenever it's settings like that it you really have to they don't make it easy for you to that easy to do settings to say no you really for facebook in particular have to go to settings privacy and like it, they make it super hard for you to do it's not an easy quick fix like that um so and of course i'm still getting lots of calls that i'm not interested in they're just trying to get me to buy whatever and i and you say don't answer them mm -hmm. and i don't um and of course if i'm not here we still have an answering machine and that answers and then i know so i'm getting to the point now where I'm right by the phone, but I say, well, I'll just let the answer that looks suspicious. Yeah. Um, and I'll let the answering machine get it. If they don't say anything right away after my message says, please leave a message if right away. They don't say anything or there's a click. Then I know. Okay. And then I just, I like press answer and then hang up just to kind of, and then I clear it Of course, I'm going to get many, many more. Um, but once last week, I got one of those caller IDs that I said, well, this is clearly no one that I know. And I almost didn't even answer it or let it answer. And it turned out to be something that I did need. It was for some, you know, something through the doctor's office. Mm -hmm. And they just had a weird caller ID that made it look like they were out of state. I mean, way out of state, out west somewhere. <laughs> they just had calling from home is what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. So uh, so now I guess I have to still listen to them all. I wish there was another way mm -hmm. I could. Have you put yourself on the do not call register? Yes, but I haven't updated it recently. I know it's been five years or more, so I have to do that, right? Mm -hmm. I double back, double check and make sure that. It's OK. Um, yeah. But that well, early, early on in the history of the internet, there was something called chain letters that were a big deal. And it used to drive our corporate fathers nuts because they were great resource users. And it's a you know, waste of resources when you have employees answering these things and then sending them out to 10 other people and and that kind of thing. And you know, it appears to people like there's no real damage, but there is in terms of the cost of those resources and uh, and people's time too. People are supposed to be working and they're answering these things and messing around with them. So um, that's that got replaced with even more creative stuff. So there you go. <laughs> I don't remember if I've shared this or not, but um, I sort of stumbled across something when my my answering machine says, um, please be advised that I'm now screening my calls. If you are someone I know, please start speaking after the beep and I will answer your call. Thanks and stay well. Well, I can't tell you how many times when I say just as far as I get to screening, they hang up because they take it to be that I'm recording it, I think. Mm. You know, and I'm just really actually screening. And most of my friends know, and if I'm not there, obviously they'll leave a message, but um, or if it's someone, you know, if, if I recognize the caller ID, of course, I'll answer it before that happens. But that has really been a savior for like lots of things that they, and then they hang up before the message finishes. So it doesn't come make anything on the answering machine, of course. Mm -hmm. so. My Samsung phone has a send me a text option when I have a call coming in. And if mm -hmm. I don't recognize the name and the number, I just do that. And that way I'm sure I don't miss a, a, a good call, but there's so many bad ones. And mm -hmm. uh, and lately, almost all the, um, uh, what do you call it, calls, the, the junk calls end up responding to that by saying, this is a landline. And if you want to leave a message on it, you have to pay X and X. So, but that's a great, it, you know, I just delete it all. Mm -hmm. I do like that feature on the Android phones. I'd like them to add that to Apple's. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. But yeah, I can't tell you the number of times my friends even are like, I can't answer right now. What do you want? <laughs> well, I don't have caller ID, but I don't pick up the phone. I don't answer it unless I unless I know that somebody is planning to call me today 
or or Bev, she'll say, okay, we're picking up the phone today. Some doctor is going to be calling us back. Otherwise, I don't pick up the phone because, first of all, if I do, and there's a long pause, goodbye, and you know anybody else that anybody wants me, they'll leave me a message and I'll call them back. If it's if it's a a call that is phishing or anything like that, when when they get to the message that says, you know, leave a message after the beep, they hang up because they know that nobody's picking up. So, I mean, and I've, I haven't really missed calls from people that I want to talk to hardly at all, but I don't, I mean, I don't get up and run to the phone on my landline. Uh, so I just, just, you know, I, I don't, I don't rush to do that. It's a waste of my energies. And I haven't missed anybody any wants to get a hold of you, they'll get a hold of you. <laughs> What's that? If somebody wants to get a hold of you, they'll get they'll a find, hold of they'll you. Get a hold. They'll leave me a message and I'll call them back. That's mm -hmm. simple. Unless it's a your child emergency type thing. That's the only. Well, I don't have to worry too much about that. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not some people have that more as. Right. Issue. And that would change the issue completely, but I don't have to worry about that situation. It's so, brilliant. you know, it works for me. It works for us. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about getting rid of your landline altogether? No. <laughs> Fair enough. No, I, I did at my house down south, but my wife won't give it up up here. That's interesting. Yeah. That is a big debate among a lot of couples at the moment. One wants to give it up and one wants to keep it. My biggest thought, though, is if you're trying to get someone in the house and, and you have to go through an individual phone and they don't answer, then you keep going through the phones till you till they answer. You know, like I really miss that when my daughter went to um, all just cell phones. It's like frustrating, but. I guess she likes it. It's only one call to manage versus two, right? Then you're only filtering out. Well, except that if I want to talk to Levi, say, and he doesn't have his phone there, well, then I can't give him any. Well, that was a bad example because he never pays attention to it anyway. But, um, it, you know, like you have to, you know, or she's busy, you know, then you have to try someone else as opposed to being able to say, hey, something for the family, you know, that they all need to know. But it's times. Yeah. Where my default is if a bunch of people need to know, I'll text a whole group of people. <laughs> Generational mm. issues. <laughs> That's true. Fascinating. Oh well. But yes, good. Good discussion. Well, are you anxious to get a new iPhone 14, Lynn, since you got a I've new I've already pre-ordered pre my 14. <laughs> and and I hope you don't eight. want the small one because you're not getting a small one. They don't have one anymore. <laughs> iPhone 14 Pro. Oh. New camera. Starts at $9.99. <laughs> Quotes. Yeah. No. I do the upgrade program, so I'm, I'm only paying 16 bucks a month for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. Well, gig. and then what do you do with your old one when you get the new one? Then do you have to give it to them or something? Or how does I trade work? it in, so I give it back to them, and then yeah, and that's why it's so cheap. So and they, they can refurbish it, mine. And resell it, right? Right. They'll wipe. Well, I wipe it before I give it back to them, and they resell it. Now, is that a program with a phone company or with Apple? With Apple. Oh, it so is. You send it back to Apple. Is that? Yeah, so you have the choice of either having it delivered to your house and they'll give you a box and you can ship it back. Or you can go to the Apple store and pick up your phone um, and turn it in at the store when you're there. Um, hmm. I, I, I like the program. It's pretty clean and sufficient. For me who wants the new camera um, and uses that all the time, it works. Yeah. People don't need phones like I need phones say 
right yeah so when the when the um communication doesn't work during church service you can text people <laughs> Oh, well, I'm not carrying my DSLR around, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's true. People used to, you know, make fun of me on Sundays because I had it hanging around my neck all day. I don't have that really anymore unless there's a particular event that I want it for instead. I'm sure your neck thanks you too. Mm -hmm. My chiropractor, you know, <laughs> when I did that, he's like, yeah, this is not good for you long term. <laughs> Yeah. So what do we do with all those cameras, Lynn? I've got a drawer full of cameras. Oh, cameras? I, yeah. Uh, DSLR or point and shoot or both? Both. I mean, yeah. I have my old Canon, my old Canon that used the little discs. And I have one that, well, I don't know if I still have a film one or not, but I've got an SLR that was discs, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it depends on what you want to do with them. Um, if they're in, like, if the lenses are in good shape, if they're DSLRs, you could sell them on eBay or. I don't even uh, worry about that. I just don't want to throw them into the garbage mm -hmm. and into the fields, you know? Yeah. You could I don't probably. Care. I don't care if I get like money for them. I, yeah. I don't care if I get money for them. I just would like to know where can I take them? There's probably thrift shops that would take them. I don't know if our Westminster one or not, we could call them mm -hmm. and ask. Um, but I would think thrift shop type places, if they're, I wouldn't think the film ones they might want, but if no, they're no, the quality no. places, uh, there are people that collect them, um, you know, that want specific models and things like that. My dad has old ones from the 1930s and sixties that oh, he yeah. uses as an art, right. Right. Um, but he's also got a dark room in his basement. Mm -hmm. um, but um yeah so you I mean, could also one of the canons one of the canons even has has interchangeable lenses mm -hmm. yeah so. you could people collect those specific lenses right mm. like i i have two or three lenses i i would like a prime lens but um and i can i switch them depending on what i need right that particular day um or days so if you could sell, you could donate or sell specific lenses, cameras. You could also probably, there's recycle places, like the recycle centers do like an electronic recycle day where you they'll right. take uh, computers and cables and things like that. And you could probably recycle them those days too. I'm sure they would collect cameras as well as TVs and all that fun. They just sit there getting older. <laughs> They're yeah, away don't the just throw them in the matter. trash. Yeah, I Places just don't take them. I don't want to trash them. No. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, there, there's, but there might be even camera shops in the area that would want right. them if you want to donate them. Yeah, we do have one across across route one from us. I can always check in with. Mm -hmm. uh, not yeah. anymore. You don't. Oh, did it go away? The cardinal camera. Well, the one that was next to the next to the office stuff from Crozier, the yeah, they, they went, they've office. been gone for a year. Oh, they lost to the lost to COVID, huh? <laughs> I guess it, uh, it's a small chain. It's not like it was a single store, but uh, I bought a camera there and from them. But then I went back to to get something else, and they were gone. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for telling me. I won't. Um, I won't make the effort to go across the street. <laughs> yeah, I mean that was I. That was probably six nine months ago. I was looking. I don't think they came back, but I could be wrong. Well, yeah. probably not. But yeah, I wouldn't count on it at this point in time. No, no, no. I wouldn't either. It was a nice store, and I liked the people in there. But mm -hmm. they have a store at King of Prussia. And maybe one at Paoli. I'm not sure about that one. I went to a place in Malvern at one point to get mine cleaned. Mm. But I don't remember. That was five or six years ago. There's an independent camera store in Fraser called the Photography Center. It's in the, um, 
that little strip mall across the street from McDonald's. Mm. Oh, okay. 30. Of course, I haven't got a clue where any of the places you just mentioned. <laughs> I think that's where I went. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> My life is between Marist Grove Church and Wilmington. And that's it. Uh, oh, and yeah, and Trader Joe's and the wine store in Wilmington. <laughs> Very limited. That, oh, that's actually, I know I, how to um, get to media. I know how to get to media and the airport too. So I mean, it's like, yeah. That's why we uh, have Google Maps and Waze. And yes, I know. I know. MapQuest. You can even print out maps or physical maps. I know we've talked about that before. I've found MapQuest to be a pain in the neck lately. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. Why? I use it all the time, but it's not cooperative lately. No. It's definitely gone downhill in the last 20 years. In what way? Because I'm going to use it tonight. <laughs> What's wrong? Thank you. Yes. Um, uh, but um, I'm assuming each time they send you a new card, it's different digits. Absolutely. Yeah, yes. I figured. Oh, somebody's Thank watching you. our recording. The first four digits are the same, but the rest are different. Is that Bob Young? Mm. Um, and have you gone into your... Bob, I think you're playing an old recording. Yeah, I'm going to mute you until you figure My out idea of how they're getting in. If you haven't changed that password, they might be seeing that they might have logged into your <laughs> Bob online and see I think your that. internet has is playing an old so video. Like, oh, here's the new account number huh. and they're seeing it online what well I, I don't uh i don't go online for chase i don't even have a what do I do? password with chase online I... so i uh, have never put a um, password for chase online yes. turn so down the volume on the video and then i can, then can talk to you uh bob hey. can you mute the audio on your computer no then you wouldn't be able to hear us Right. Just turn down the volume on the video, though. Ah. Which I think he just did. Bob, can you screen? No, I muted Pam. Oh. <laughs> Bob, can you screen share your computer? Oh, you're muted again. <laughs> um. No, I didn't. I didn't mention, but I would think they would be aware, but Bob, yes. Can you mute or can you um, screen share your computer? You're I, playing an old video. Oh. Well, uh, I have my credit card with me all the time. I don't, there, nobody has it. Uh, my husband doesn't even use that. Do you see, do you see a recorded bit or a video playing of an no, old no. Zoom? Just people. Is that I'm better? So knowledgeable. <coughs> they got into. I, uh, I have no still idea. Still going. Um, if you hit the green on. screen share button, we I go to like a chase. Wait a minute. Uh, mm -hmm. outlet. I used to be able to ask to record or to remote okay. in, but it does not let me do that anymore. An online bank. Mm. Oh. I don't know. Oh. I think you figured it out, Bob. <clears throat> I'm proud of you. Yay. I don't have any links. Is that on? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Turned it down. I think he clicked on the email you sent us, which had two or three things to click on. One of them was Elsa's story. So if he goes out and comes back in on the correct place to click, maybe. Maybe it wasn't me. Poor Bob. I'm sorry, Bob. It, it would that... be very easy if somehow your credit card got oh, man. on the internet somewhere. Oh. If somebody got those numbers okay. in a data breach. Mm. Good. And then they got that. They saw your name. Um, and they got your birthday in some mass data mm. breach. But, oh, I wish I could remote into your computer. I'm sorry. Able to use all of your credentials, birthday. Address. Bob, can do you see the green screen share button at the bottom of your screen? Uh huh. Can you click on it for me? Yeah, because 
I, I don't know. Uh -huh. And then hit the blue share button. I don't know how to navigate that, oh. but you think it's safe if I go to the chat. There we go. Uh, awesome. Great. Yeah. Um, do you see at the top of your screen there's a gray um um there's a red button with the number two 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 credit card fraud with your credit card at the top. Uh, Keep going up. Up, 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 up. I don't see what I'm to do. Keep going up with your cursor all the way up to the top of the screen is going through DoorDash. Um, Keep going up top. They're all showing up, the DoorDash. Yeah. Keep going, perfect. Yeah, going on your credit card. Keep going up. Yeah, well. It, oh dear, it, I'm it, sorry. Like, no worries. And then, well, no, I don't. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Can you go up higher with your mouse? Because uh, all the way going. to the top of the screen? No my history, I guess, and they know that I never do that. Uh, I wonder if I can remote in now. Anything so immediate. I'm going to requote, uh, request remote control. The fraud um, uh, huh. line uh, uh, communication, and then they say, oh, this, oh. this was not you who sent Oh, it. wonderful. Sorry, but it was not me. So I have never <laughs> been a <tried. clears throat> Awesome. That's a great background. Yes. Oh, pick real perfect. <laughs> I think you're good to go. Thank you, Bob. Now you can hear us without oh. the distraction of last week's video playing. Okay. It should be easier to understand us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. We were talking about um, different uh, GPS um, apps and websites and. Um, how um mapquest has gone downhill in the last couple of years uh, um, i haven't used that one in a while so maybe chuck or stephen can speak to why it's gone downhill well what what are the problems with it what doesn't work go ahead steve well, when i i have a car that uses android auto and I use Waze with that. So I just use Waze all the time. If, you know. Well, and, if I'm planning uh, a trip, I often look at MapQuest on my phone. And lately I've been finding that after I put in the location, it'll do all kinds of weird navigating on in the US and then maybe look at the place, but then so many ads show up, it covers most of the screen. And when you try and get rid of the ads, it doesn't cooperate. Um, yeah. Now I'm, I'm looking at it as we speak on my computer and I'm going to see if it behaves the same way. Yeah, I'm doing that too, Stephen. Hmm. Hmm. Nancy, do you use it through the GPS on the car, on your phone, or do you print out directions? Just on my phone and I've not had any problem. The only problem I, I haven't either was when you go down, I don't know if you ever go up 41 um, to route 30 and gap. And it tells you to turn um, to turn right on on Route 30 West, and you know darn well that you can't turn right and be going west. And even though that intersection has changed, I'm thinking I've been through here. I know if I turn. And then it kept saying continue on Route 30 East, and I'm on Route 30 West because I know where I'm going. And holy Pete, if you you know thought you were going to Philadelphia, you'd have never gotten there because that was the only thing I found wrong with it. But um, I'm, yeah, I'm using it tonight to go up to Reading. And um, I practiced it before and there's three, three choices. And the only thing I find is that um, I have to decide what the choice is because there's sometimes it's not, I mean, 
they don't know all the, the biggest thing they don't know is the Amish boogies. <laughs> well, <laughs> and so, you know, and, and all the curves and stuff. And so I, I, I basically knew where I wanted to go. So I'm, I think I've done it once, so I'm not worried about it, but if that's the other problem. Oh, the thing that is new though, they do now, at least on mine, um, they have you, they let you to download your, your route before you start so that if you get in a place where there's no cell phone, which is what I do, you've got it on there. And that's a big help because mm. um, that one time going down to Ocean City, Maryland, or uh, yeah, Ocean City, Maryland, we got in the Netherlands and didn't know where to go and, they, and there was no service at all. And, you know, we took us about five hours to get to Ocean City because we, you know, we're trying to use a map or whatever, but anyway, okay, well, so yeah, I, I think I know what you mean though, um, Stephen. I've seen like Ed things and it's very frustrating because oh my gosh, now I'm done with it. You know, it's where did it go? It's gone. And, yeah. yeah. Well, I just I just looked up an address in Philadelphia mm -hmm. where I'm going next week. And the map it gave me goes all the way mm -hmm. from the blue route over to the Delaware River. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't help me at all. Yeah. So I don't, I'm, I've given up on, on MapQuest. I'm do using Google do, Maps now. Mm -hmm. Do they do um, user um, updates? That's one thing I like about Waze. It, people can report, oh, there's a cop here, there's construction, mm -hmm. there's road close. So it updates it. MapQuest why. doesn't do that. Yeah. I actually, oh, I'm wrong. can overdo it. It's the Wait. Schuylkill River, not the Delaware River. <laughs> <laughs> that makes more sense. Yeah, the place I'm looking isn't even on the on the map. Uh, well, I just I just plugged in, in a, a place that I went last week and I was looking for a button to push to do directions from my house to the place. And you have to search around and, and search for it. It used to be very simple to find and it was right on the, the original screen, but yeah. it's not there anymore. You got to click on the three lines up at the top. And, and one of the choices is get directions. Mm -hmm. So, and that takes you to a new screen where you have to click on the button which is where do you want to go it didn't remember where i already searched for so i typed in the place where i want to go and a red entry comes up it says please enter a valid address so you can't just enter the name of the place anymore and let it find it for you you've got to have the address that you're going to have to go someplace else probably to find if you don't already have it so it's it's much more cumbersome, I think, in my opinion, than it used to be. It used to be very simple to a screen would come up and at the top you'd have where do you want to go and where you want to come or start from. You don't have that anymore. No. Nope. It, it asks you where you want to go and you type that in and it shows you where it is on the map. But in yeah. order to get directions to it, you've got to click on the little three lines at the top. And say get directions, and then it forgets where you just looked up. <laughs> I so don't I have use, that problem. I use <laughs> ways on my car in my car yeah. all the time, and I have no problems with it. You type in the place you want to go, and it finds it with the address, and you just say go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, MapQuest used MapQuest used so to easy. be like that, but it's it's not that easy anymore. I don't have that problem at all. I mean, I just I just planned a trip all the way across the country and back through Canada. And I'm A, I never saw an advertisement for anything. Um, oh, there's advertisements all over this page. And Do I you put, use Apple Maps? No, I use MapQuest because I like it better than Apple Maps. And I use Google Maps. I, I like in, that. I, you probably can't see this. I just Can plugged in Charlottesville. Charlottesville, and right there is the blue thing, directions. And then when I hit on directions, it says, where are you coming from? And I say my location. <clears throat> hmm. When we went on a trip down to Auburn, Alabama for a wedding 
back this summer, my wife planned the entire trip on an app called Road Trippers. And it was very simple. You put in the places you want to go. You tell it which sequence you want to go to those places in. And it sets it all up for you. I stand uh, corrected. I use Google Maps. No, that's, that's what I said. I thought I you were Google like Google Maps. Maps. All the time. I like what you said. Yeah, I like I like Google Maps. Yeah, I don't that's even. What have I use Maps too when I'm not in the car. That's on my phone. Just easy. I use Google Maps on a browser usually. Yeah. Um, but what I like about both of those is you can also do um, contact sharing, so you could say, "Oh, I'm going to visit," you know, my friend or relative or. But then they can see updates of location tracking where you are. So if they're, you know, wondering how soon you'll arrive, mm. they can look. Mm. So yeah, I don't even, I have the app for Google Maps on my phone. I don't have an app for MapQuest. Do they mm. even have an app? I don't know. I don't know if they have an app. I just go to the site while I'm on my phone. Yeah. Oh. Well, Google Maps has, a, has a, and of course, Maps, which is the Apple Maps, is on the first screen. So I have to go to the second screen to Google Maps. But... Yeah, that's funny. I typed in MapQuest and an ad for Road Trippers pops up. Yeah. <laughs> road Trippers works very nicely. You just set it up day by day and, you know, it, it, does everything for you. It's it's very simple. Great. Oh well. Not oh. that we're going anywhere. I don't think I even have Apple Maps on my phone. It should be a default on the Apple Maps. I apologize for them sweeping out leaves and things behind me. I didn't get Apple Maps on my phone either. I Google oh. Maps is on my phone. You have well, an Android? I don't, I don't have Google Maps either. No, I have iPhone. Oh. And when it was set up, Google Maps was the only one that was on there. I've That's never had Apple Maps. Interesting. I have it just Map says Quest. Maps. It doesn't say Apple Maps. It just says Maps. I have but MapQuest, but I don't It does have just say Google. Maps, but when you go into it, it's Google Maps. Uh, when mm -hmm. I click on the one that says Maps, I don't get anything about Google. I have to go to Google Maps to get Google. Mm -hmm. If you hit it in the search field at the top, you'll get all your different map options. Um, so the search at the top of where? Let me see if I can do this. I might need to go grab a cable. Um, <laughs> Oops. That's <laughs> work. What Wi Fi am I on? <laughs> oh, I'm on the right one. Oh, screen mirroring. Let's see if this works. You see my phone? It's no, it says you started screen sharing, but it doesn't show anything else. No? Mm -mm. Black Google. screen. Stupid. Um, okay. Let me grab my um, table. Um, but, um, but, yes. One thing about the new iPhone that was announced yesterday was that there's satellite features so that if you are in dead spot, you will not lose GPS tracking. Oh, yeah, I saw that, yeah. Which I was very excited about. Um, okay, let's try this again. Maybe. Yes. There he is. So yeah, if there's a search button up here if you swipe down. And if you type in maps. Gotcha. 
up there, maybe. It should bring up hmm. yeah, all of your map options. Map. Ways does not show up, which is interesting, which is my default. Yeah. But, yeah. I wonder hmm. if you put in DIR, you would get ways. No. Hmm. No. I'm guessing just W. Hmm. If you go yeah. to the app store and look and do it, said Apple and say Apple Maps, do a search for Apple Maps, it comes up with Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze, and something else. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it brings up the most popular. It brings up all the ones that you can get on an, on an iPhone. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. There's a lot of different options. I don't know. So, that quest owned by somebody else that's big in the industry, because <laughs> they may just be getting swamped by these more successful apps. I feel like they were with Yahoo at one point. Yeah, I think I think you may be right. I just this is the first I've heard about using for a while. I mean, I haven't, I haven't had anything to do with MapQuest for a few years. All right. Oh man, it was originally started in 1967, became popular at, um, in the 1990s and went public um, yeah. in 99. Um, hmm. Oh, so in 2008, oh, the general public um, made a significant shift from MapQuest to a much younger Google Maps. Um, I'm going to have to say goodbye. So goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. I'll leave um, at the same time. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> and then in uh, May 2015, it was purchased tonight. by AOL. Uh, by Verizon, um, so it's owned by Verizon and AOL. Oh, had a car GPS. You had to 2000... spend a hundred dollars every year to get your maps upgraded because the maps were local, and a mm -hmm. lot of those old apps that were set up that way have just kind of gone by the wayside because you. Mm. That's totally unnecessary now. Mm. Yeah. In 2009, it was sold to System 1. So my guess is they're not updating it. I don't even know what System 1 is. Mm. Um, but I still have my TomTom Tom GPS. Wow. You know, from 10 years ago. I'm sure that's all outdated. I should recycle that. Yeah. I remember when we bought my dad a Magellan not realizing it was for boating, not driving. <laughs> uh, yes. Mm. I still have an old Magellan somewhere in this office. I just don't know what to do mm. with it. Are you a boater? I was. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So can I insert a public service announcement? Gentlemen, you are hereby invited to join us in, with a gathering of men next, starting next Wednesday. We're studying Daniel. There's a book by, it's in the Westminster um, commentary series. Uh, let me give you the actual It'll be in the update today that guy sent out. Westminster Bible Companion. It looks like this. Of course, it doesn't have a CD in it as a bookmark. Um, still good for something, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I still use CDs. So, be a floppy disk. So mm -hmm. we meet in Spellman Jr. or on Zoom. We specifically meet in Spelman Jr. to facilitate Zoom. So we'll have some people live and some people 
digitally, but uh, we'd love to have you. What time is it? Is it at night? Starts at seven. Hmm. Goes from seven to eight thirty. And as Lynn said, you'll get an invite in the Thursday update. Mm -hmm. But and Jerry and Stephen can get you more info too. What's that about Jerry? Jerry's a contact point too. So oh, other, yes. you can test her Stephen or Jerry. I'm sure Jerry would be happy for you to just test her. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's a ton of different groups out there right now, all starting up. It's exciting. Any other questions, comments, issues, public service announcements? <laughs> <laughs> I get to do an interesting thing today. I get to take my stepmother's old nook and transfer the data to a new Android tablet. Mm, that's exciting. And apps. Hope that goes smoothly. As do I. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. From a nook to cranny. <laughs> What's that? From a nook to a cranny. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye now, too. I have to run. I will hopefully see you next week. Okay, great. See you Bye. Sunday. Yep. Mm -hmm. Also for the good of the order for, for the week. I went yesterday. Well, if nobody has any technical questions, I think I'm going to join everybody else and head to my stepmother's. Good luck. Have fun. Good luck. Yes, Bob, what was your question or comment? It's not a question. Um, okay. I thought I knew the way to my audiologist, mm -hmm. but it was just off. Well, I get that I went down boot road. I went boot road to the 202. Mm -hmm. This is in my mind. And that it's just one stop past where I get off. And then I turn right. Well, I went that way and found that was not the right way. And uh, for, I ha fortunately, I have my phone. I don't always buy iPhone. And fortunately, I had put in Brookdale, which is the name of the audio mm -hmm. uh, a company. And uh, I pulled off and got on ways and then on Brookdale and it said, gave me directions, you got to turn around, you got to get on the 202, you have to go to the next stop. But um, I'm not doing any major traveling, but it's major when you're 94 and lost. And um, so uh, it was nice to get out of a jam. And I found the place and I did made my appointment and here I am. So it's just a, not a question, it's just a comment. I was glad, mm -hmm. glad, glad. I'm glad the GPA saved you that day. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you had your phone with you. Oh, yes, I don't know. <laughs> and <laughs> you were smart enough to find it on there. Not a lot of 94 year olds would figure that out. So well, props to you for keeping up with technology. That much. But I'm glad you made your appointment and you weren't late. That's always yeah, scary. Yes, yes, I was only 10 minutes away. Yeah, good. Very nice to see all of you. Yep. How are things going over at Wellington with the live streaming in the afternoons? 
Uh, that is going okay. Yes, I'm. Uh, I have did it last week and will again. I have a helper here, and he was away for Labor Day. Mm. So, but he's back, and we hope to do it again this weekend. Good. So, glad it worked out. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. It's nice that you do that. It's important. Any other comments, concerns, problems? Well, I think uh, hmm. I'm going to check out. I want to check on the Queen's health and see how she's doing. <laughs> oh, she's not doing well? No, I missed that. No, she's um, uh, under doctor's care full time, and the rest of the family has gone up to Balmara to be at her bedside. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't hear that either. How old is she now? 96? Six, 96. Six. Yeah. Yeah. That's a shame. Mm. Yeah, it's she's impressive been... she's done as much as she has at 96. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, keep us posted. <laughs> Just have to pay attention to the news. Well, she's been queen most of my lifetime. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. 52, right? 55? Uh, no, 70 years. Oh. Yeah. That'd be 52. 52 years. No, it would, oh. she would have started in 1952. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah. Um, do, have any of you watched the TV show, The Crown? On? Yeah. yeah. That's interesting mm. to watch. I'm not sure how accurate it is, but. Well, I, I follow that stuff because my parents were born in Belfast. They were born in the UK. Mm. And um, I remember having in our house a picture of the the queen as a baby and it said it was a big picture it said our baby under it uh -huh. and that was always kind of the a, a mix of it was somewhat revered but also somewhat of a joke i mean that that they it was always there mm -hmm. but um as scottish it, did they um want to be part of the great britain i know it's always you know that scots want their independence and all of that well there's one the current whatever she's called the head of scotland has been trying to mm. get another election to to get people to uh, vote them out of the uk but then she's an advocate because she would probably benefit from it as much as anybody mm -hmm. so you yeah, it's politics as usual yeah did your parents move back during all of that um tension in the what was it no my parents came here as little kids oh, as, okay. as elementary school children okay so you you no. didn't you weren't born there no no okay. they came around 1920 good very exciting yeah okay there's nothing else for the discussion i guess we'll close out for the week nice to see you all day. Yeah. see you next week have a great week guys bye good bye. to see you sounds good see you if i can find my mouse <laughs> <laughs>